All right, hey guys. So today is Saturday, and that one is an easy one to remember because Saturdays um, are usually a run day for me, and usually that's more of my longer runs. I've been really slacking on my runs lately, though, but I still drove out. It's about 30 minutes to the beach from here in Alabama. Drove out there, and it was a warm, crispy day, but I still got in, uh, did about... An hour and seven minutes of running did a little over seven miles so not great not bad um, but we're gonna get into the shave today and I thought about skipping my shave today but I was like you know what it's a nice day even though I'm tired we're gonna get her in and for today we're still on that declaration grooming binge for that spring summer right and for today's it's gonna be massacre of the innocents Love, love, love the artwork on this. If you don't know, I'm a big guy. I'm into like horror, scary movies, Halloween. Um, that's why part of my brush collection, I have all three of the Paladin Halloween uh, pumpkin handles. I have one in like the satin white. I have one in black and I have one in orange. I also have a skull and bones one. Um, I'm really into that kind of stuff. We have the matching aftershave splash and this this is a banger i can't remember if it's really strong once it gets lathered up because it's been a while since i've used it but it's definitely a banger scent um i don't even know if this is a dupe to be honest i'm gonna get a little water on the head we're still in the paradigm diamondback ti astro sp third use we are going to use the pa cube today um, again, I don't think it's needed with Declaration Grooming soaps, but I'm trying to kill this because I, I have two more cubes after this. I have um, the Blue Samhain PAA cube that I've only used like maybe three times, and then I have an unopened thing of Clown Fruit cube. Um, I was going on a cube binge for a while. But then, I don't know, I just stopped using them because certain parts I was at with the RV, it was just hard to use them um, because like when I'm at RV parks where I don't have water hookup or septic, I typically don't shower in my RV. I shower at the campground um, showers and having the cube, uh, isn't the easiest thing to take with you to the shower room. You know, at first I was using like a Ziploc bag throwing it in there, but then even the Ziploc bag just started getting really wet, soggy, and like, it just wasn't fun experience. So I stopped, I stopped doing it. Today we're just drinking agua just because I had that long run. And because I'm trying to drink more water been really slacking probably the last like eight months on drinking water it used to be really good i would drink like a gallon a day um or close to a gallon a day and now i feel like i'm lucky if i drink a quarter gallon a day also today's the first day i did not have an energy drink i usually have like one to two energy drinks a day and i might crack open one in a few seconds here we'll see um brush for today it's soaking over here I decided to go with a matching brush to the label work here. And that is going to be this beauty from Declaration Grooming. It's Boke, which is the Blood of the Kings. I don't know if this is 2.0 or just regular Blood of Kings. I'm not intelligent enough with the Blood of King pores to know the difference. This is a B9A+. I have another Blood of Kings. It's in a B14. Um, this one, I don't know. I feel like this one looks a little lighter to me than the other one. But great, great pour. I know it sounds like simple, just something like red with sparkles. But man, like, I got to give it to Scott. Some of these older pours that I see him have, 
like he just pulled him off so well. Like I don't know, it's just so weird to me. Like I don't see a lot of other brush makers killing it with just like a simple pour like this. With just you know how cool that red looks, and it looks even better in person. I do think Milton. I saw a red brush from him recently in almost the exact same pour color, and man, it looked it looked sick too. So blooming. God, this is so good. So this is one of those ones where I did have it in my fall and winter setup, but I brought it over to spring and summer because I kind of feel like it goes both ways. The other Declaration Grooming Soap that I had in fall and winter that I brought it over to spring and summer is Peaches and Scream. And... That is a phenomenal scent. It's like a peach, but it has like some kind of like eerie creepiness to the backdrop scent-wise, which I think makes it perfect for like fall, winter. But because it's like a nice peach with a little bit of like booziness to it, I also think it does work in spring. And maybe even a little bit into the summer. And the main reason is I had a and I think we're going to go with a little bit of water and we're going to keep working. It is because all my winter slash fall soaps, they're in a big long tub that hides under my sofa over here. And honestly, I just, I have so many more fall winter soaps than I do spring and summer because I guess fall and winter is my favorite scent profiles that I think we're going to go with that. That I couldn't fit them all. So I had to pick a few that I was like, okay, could I use this in the spring and summer as well? And it just so happens that those were two from Declaration I decided to pull over. Going straight to the dome. And I gotta say, I do like B98 Plus quite a bit. I have three of them. So I have this one. I have the POTUS, which is Pearl of the Stars, which is a gorgeous, just blue with sparkles. And then I have my one in a Mojo hybrid ha handle, which is his Northern Lights. Gorgeous handle. It's like a purple, pearl, like purple wood. I don't know if it's pearl wood. And then it has um, like this blue in it, in the resin. And yeah, it looks a lot like the colors of the northern lights and the knot in that one is fucking epic it's just it's lofted a little higher than than these b90 pluses so like the splay on it it's just really nice and this even just this this one like these are great You know, I know I'm a fanatic when it comes to B14, B16, and B15. B14, B16, I love them just because how soft and cloud-like they are. B15, I feel like, brings in a little bit more of a soft scrub-ish kind of feel. And these... These are like that really good in between, not cloud like, but not skirchy. Like they have just this really nice soft scrub to them, um, kind of like a B11s. And one thing I'm just thinking right now is I'm not sure I've ever used this soap with a badger brush, or if I did, it was probably a cheaper badger brush because. You guys saw it's brown. I hope it doesn't dye my my badger hair. But B9A and B9A plus, great. So B9A plus, the plus is that Scott took B9A hair, from my understanding, and he did an in-house gel treatment to it. And I gotta say, man, his old work is fucking pretty great. Like this, 
This is a great knob. It's it's okay with the painting strokes. Nice and soft. But it doesn't have because it's so dense and where it's lofted, it doesn't have the best flow through for painting in my opinion. Not saying it's bad, but definitely more enjoyable knots out there that I've used. But as you can see, like just a great knot. I would say it has about medium-ish backbone. Nothing crazy. And it's just so soft. Like I feel like I could I could lather with that all day. Astra SP, third use, would be great. And everybody has a good weekend so far, right? I know the weekend is big to most people. Um, again, being early retired, you know, I retired last summer at 38 and now 39. Uh, but no, retired almost a year actually. I retired in June of last year. So, what is it, April right now? Yeah, in two more months, it'll be exactly a year. that the weekends aren't as big of a deal to me anymore. Just cause, you know, I don't work every day. So it's kind of like almost every day of the week now is the weekend to me. And it's kind of funny cause now, my weekends I usually try to stay more in, like, these are days I try to get stuff done around my RV, whether it's cleaning, meal prepping. Um, yeah, that's why I pick Saturday for my long runs. Because I feel like everything is always so packed everywhere that like, I don't even want to go to the grocery stores on the weekends because it's just so packed. Scent strength on this, uh, I don't know, man. That's a, it's a hard one. I would probably give it a six out of ten. It's a banging scent, but yeah, I can't say it's bold. It's not really strong. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but that's my pump on my RV. It's, uh, it's a little louder than it usually is. I don't, don't know if that means I'm going to have to replace that sucker here soon. We're just going to dip the brush in the water a little bit more. Just because that first pass, it wasn't bad, but I could tell the soap could have still used a little bit more hydration. Oh, man, that feels good. It's funny, I went from like having to shave every day in the military, hating it, to once I found wet shaving actually enjoying it and you know like many people I think uh, the original reason I got into wet shaving was actually to save money from cartridge razors and to try something different because I used to get a lot of breakouts on my neck a lot of hair bumps and you know I know I have a lot of expensive gear now 
but I didn't for most of my wet shaving experience. And I started wet shaving in 2011, 2012. I didn't start buying expensive gear till 2022. So I haven't. So I actually ended up, I saved quite a bit of money by wet shaving, to be honest, for many years. And now it's more, it's even more enjoyable and more of a hobby to me. Like the different soaps I have now compared to like 2018, 2019, and the instruments I have are so much better now. Whew. And you know, I don't know how to describe the scent. It's I don't know, it's, man, it's just that complex. I get a, a masculine vibe from it. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit woody. <sighs> yeah. With Maybe vanilla is in it. Because you know what it, it almost reminds me a lot of? Is Lavender Interrupted, the EDP, the clone from Barrister and Man? It has almost that kind of like sexy dark appeal and I think the main focus of Lavender Interrupted is vanilla. I could probably stop after two passes with this razor. Yeah guys, I don't know, this Diamondback TI it's been, you know, a handful of shaves now and I'm still in love with it like I love how efficient it is with no blade feel like I like blade feel but now that I have so many razors with blade feel it's kind of nice to have something like this but yet it's nice that it's almost as efficient as like my WR2 because I feel like most razors I've tried that have very little blade feel or no blade feel they're just not very efficient they're just you know low efficiency to medium efficiency where I put this pretty high on the efficiency level um, you know I already did two videos on comparisons one to the Blackbird TI which I felt like it was about as efficient as the Blackbird TI maybe a hair less efficient and then I did it comparison to the Alpha Outlaw Evolution TI and I felt like it was about as efficient as that You can see we still have a nice amount of lather. You know, somebody could say I even overloaded. And that's fine. I'd rather overload than underload. Especially as somebody that likes killing tubs of soap. But it's also weird, right? Because... Part of me thinks, like, say if once I kill this tub of soap, am I going to replace it? You know, do I like it enough to keep it? And I would say yes. 
And my new thing now is, but I still need to downsize because if I say that to every single tub I have, I'm going to still have like 90 some tubs and I would like to get it down. Um, I don't know what that number is yet, but maybe, you know, maybe 80, maybe like 40 spring and summer, 40 winter and fall. And uh, the hard one is the winter and fall. As I told you guys, I have way more winter and fall soaps. But, you know, just because I have less spring and winter soaps doesn't mean I shouldn't go through them, too, to see if there's any I can get rid of. Uh, I can already tell you I have two in the back that I am going to be moving. I like just to wait till I get, like, a few soaps, and then I post them. You know, that way I don't have to keep taking pictures randomly of things throughout the, throughout my time, you know, just try to sell multiple things at once. But uh, one of those soaps is, I did a video on it. It's a uh, Holy Caw Forger Potique. I did that one against uh, my SV. Uh, Aromatica Police or something like that. I don't know. It's their Forge. And I was trying to figure out which one do I want to keep and which one do I want to get rid of. And. Ooh, I think I just cut myself. Did I cut myself? Yeah, I don't know. I don't see any blood. But I definitely felt something sharp. Huh. I might have just cut myself. I was putting a little bit more pressure than I should have. Yeah, I think I did cut myself. No blood. But I can just feel a little discomfort on the very top of the crown of my head. Like right up here. No blood though. But I was thinking about keeping one, getting rid of the other, and it was hard for me to choose which one. And I was pretty sure I was going to do the keep the holy claw. But I thought to myself, if I get rid of the holy claw, I also get rid of a um, an extra splash because the SV so I don't have a matching splash for it so that kind of made me get rid of the makes me want to get rid of the holy call because then you get rid of two things a splash and a soap oh yeah I definitely did cut myself got a little blood up there Got a little towel. Yeah, man, we're BBS and oh, that smells so good. Smells so freaking good. We'll see, depending on how that thing looks, I might just skip Sunday head shave. Oh. The splash kicks it up a cent notch. I'll give the soap probably a six out of 10. Five or six out of 10. I'd give the splash a six to a 7.5. 
Oh. Yeah, such a good scent. I'm going to have to do some research. Again, you guys know I, I usually don't like to say any scent notes or anything, but I'm curious if this is a dupe or not. And if it is, what's it a dupe of? Because it's such a great scent. But today was a pretty fast one, and isn't it funny? Massacre the innocence with all the blood. And I just so happened to, you guys can see it right there, cut the top of my head. Shit happens. So today, we use Decoration Grooming, Massacre of the Innocents. We decided to be a fanboy and match the soap set with my B98 Plus Blood of Kings Pour. God, such a great knot. We used the Diamondback TI Astro SP third use. Probably going to toss that blade after that. We did use a little bit of PA pre shave. And that was it. Appreciate you guys coming along, and I'll catch you on the next one.